Hey everybody, hope you're doing fantastic today. Brett Tadlock here, TN Artist. I uh, just wanted to jump on here and get started with this week's lesson. So this week we're going to be working on another landscape. And it, this one I think we're going to kind of blend in some uh, some different stuff that we've worked on here lately just to kind of help, you know, kind of solidify some of those skills. So uh, we're going to go with the standard color palette of the oil paints, plus the few extra ones I have here. And we're on an 8 by 10 inch canvas, 150 dpi, because I can always upscale it by 4 with the nano export. Got the true pigment turned on, and we just have one layer for right now, so we're going to um, build off of this one and then come up from there. All right, so I've got a blue color here that I selected. It's a little bit bluish purple, as you can see. There's the number. I'm going to come over here and I've got the fill tool. I'm going to do, go ahead and tell it to wet the layer. Okay. So now we've got that there. Now I want to kind of have this fade down because remember as it moves down, the horizon gets uh, lighter. Okay. So I'm going to go with this color here. And I have a painting on the other uh, window of my references that I'm pulling some of these colors from. I'm just keeping it over there to keep everything a little uh, less cluttered. All right, so we can go with the airbrush if we want to make this really smooth. Just kind of right bracket it and max that out a little bit. And I figure our horizon line is going to probably be somewhere right around in here. So let's just kind of bring this across. I'm going to use my shift click there, click here, keep holding shift, using my mouse key, I'll bring this across here, click, come over to the right, click, across like so. All right, now I'm going to go over here to the blend and bring this up a little bit to its max. And I'm just going to Kind of come across. I'll start at the top up here and just kind of fade it down. It is going to, as you can see, kind of lag a little bit because it's doing a lot of work at the moment. So that gives us a decent little, uh, um, a decent little break in the sky there. And I think I would like to maybe. Bring this down just ever so slightly. So I'll just airbrush it back a little bit. So I think I asked this the last uh, lesson that I did. What do you guys listen to while you're painting? I've got a mix on from Apple Music that is the uh, classic rock. So right now, Journey is playing. <laughs> Love me some Journey. All right, so I think that will work. And we're going to have some water here. The ground is going to come through here and come around. Maybe a mountain in the background. But let's work on these clouds up here. I'm going to switch over here to the oil brush. I'm going to go to my brushes. And go with the old brush here. What kind of a yellowish color? So this is the one we're going with. But I'm going to bring it down a little bit to right about here. Maybe a little less. There we go. Something along those lines. We're going to just kind of quickly lay some of this in where we want it okay I tell you what let's undo that I'm gonna keep this blue here so I'm gonna just I need to be showing you guys how to work in these layers so I'm gonna bring in this on this separate layer and I'm just kind of swirling this in get kind of a general lay in of this kind of dirty yellowish color All right, so now we've got that there. I'll bring in the blend again. I 
just kind of swirl it. Now the reason I use this brush, the previous brush, the oil brush, is because it gives me a break in some of the intensity of colors because I've got these natural breaks. So if I just blend around that, it'll kind of help vary the color a little bit. It's not real intense, but it does do it a little bit. So there's some subtle differences there. See how that kind of fades off into that whitish color because they're very similar in values and kind of similar in hue, but I mean, it's one's a little more purplish. But I just want it to be really soft, okay? So now we've got that there. break this cloud out a little bit. It's a little too uniform. All right, so we can go back to the brush. Now, one of the things you can do with this, like for example, if you want to keep some of the textures, but you don't want to keep some of the, let me rephrase that. You want to keep some of the texture of the brush, but not some of the impasto texture of the brush. You can pull up the window for visual settings, F12. And then right here where it says impasto depth, you can just drop that to zero. So the same brush, see how it paints now like this, which I think is what I'm going to go with for right now because I don't really want the impasto depth. Okay. So I'm just going to use this like this. And that's just doing it for the, um, the brush itself. But I want to have it that broken up old brush feel. Okay. So now I want to kind of lay in, I think some of the highlights will be, okay, then I can press four, kind of just circle this around. And so by doing, keeping this brush, but bringing down the uh, depth of the, the thickness of the paint, it lets me get this streaky look to it that I like. It kind of breaks up some of the smoothness so it's not like airbrush looking. And at this point I'm just kind of building up where I think some of the texture will be. Okay, so that way if I get something that I like, like I like these little breaks in color, then I can go either to the blend brush here. Okay. Let's bring that down and just softly go back over it. Okay. Let's we'll see. It's a good way to kind of play around with these different brushes to get different blends and effects. Not super hard, but it gives you still that traditional look. Zoom in just a little bit. But see how we've got all these different just natural layers here right now? So now we can switch back to the oil brush. We can add putting on one. Add some streaks. Just like so. And then press in, go back to blend it. Okay. And just kind of work out some wisps here and there. Now I've got a little bit too 
as humans, we always make patterns. So you can see there's that, that, and that are almost exactly the same. So let's break that up. Let's um, switch back to the brush and just make a great big piece that comes across it like that. And then in to blend. Like so. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to add in some a little bit of yellow. Kind of change the color a little bit. So this color is that. The previous one is that. push in and soften some of these. Now you can do four on here and that'll help keep some of that texture. And the nice thing about doing this this way versus just the blend, is that this actually smears the paint around, whereas the blend just kind of softens it. Okay, so this can give you some more interesting effects that you can then go back and highlight. And give you some randomness. You can take it and kind of fluff up some of these on the end. Drag some out like that. Just kind of change those shapes up a little more random. And so see, now we've got some more interesting clouds because we've kind of broken this up a little bit. So I want to go with this color again, but now I want to come over. Let's come over here to where I've got more of this purplish color and add in some of that. Now this color is very close to this, but we're going to blend it around. Just kind of get an idea for where you want your shadows. See how it's pretty close. So I'm just quickly laying in some color here and making myself move around the canvas more. Because one of the problems with being zoomed in like I am, and this is why I keep a preview screen on the other monitor, is you can get really focused on just one area and then realize that you're not painting on the rest of the canvas. So push four and then just kind of Start blending these around. And I want these to kind of sweep up a little bit. And so just kind of keep moving your pen around. Setting it down, moving it around, picking it up. So that way it doesn't get too homogenized. change the size. Okay. So let me zoom out just a little bit, a couple ticks here. All right. 
make this a little bit larger just really softly and this is one of those things where you just got to kind of let yourself be okay with some of the randomness but just try to be a little aware of patterns and stuff that you're making something like that okay so now we've got a lot of this just kind of randomly thrown in here so one of the things you can do by doing it this way now you can come back and look for where would the light be hitting this you know where would it lighten it up at okay and just kind of blend these into i just realized these, these aren't really blended in too much there we go all right so now let's look at that let's look at where some highlights could be Okay, bring this way down in size. And just kind of start building it out. And then go back to four. Like so. So just kind of circle some of these in and build up these layers. And the key to this is trying to leave some of this edge. Okay, so if you're doing four, just kind of start at the side and then build your way back. Or if you're using the blender brush, it keeps a little bit softer. You can go over some of this and not really overly blend it, but just kind of soften it back like so, so that it kind of lightly blends in. And then you've kind of got the best of both worlds here. And by leaving these areas of darkness, it's really going to make that punch. But then again, you can just look for these little areas and just kind of naturally build those out and keep some of that randomness. You can go through and, you know, kind of highlight a bunch of them. You can don't be afraid to switch brushes either. It says you have to use that one.
But see, by swirling these together, you're getting a really nice buildup of clouds. So let me zoom out. See how those kind of build up? Okay. And so we can just keep building them out and keep working our way around. All right. So I want to kind of move on to some of the other uh, stuff here real quick and, and kind of work on it. So that way we can build up some more areas and then come back and work on these a little more. Okay. I'm just going to throw in some notes here for where I think some highlights should be. So it may even end up covering up a good portion of this. Okay. Just kind of keep smearing it around. Change the size, smear it around. Again, it's just circles. But I think this oily round works pretty good for this. But you could use one of the other standard brushes as well. Because like I say, I've made my brushes because they suit kind of my painting style. But don't feel that you have to have my brush. So I think that's going to be a good place to kind of pause on that for a second. And we'll come back and push some of it a little bit. But I want to lay in somewhere of the other. Because again, like I said, you want to keep moving around the painting. So we need to know where the painting's going. So let's see. Let's make a new layer. Um, let's build up maybe some mountains over here. Oops. I'm going to add to. So this is kind of determining where the horizon line is. I'm thinking right about here. Something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this in with some color. This is kind of a bluish gray. Okay, 
So we've got that there for the mountains. And actually we're going to have... Let's um, lock the, this. So we're going to have... kind of coming around... Something like this. Okay. So maybe something along those lines like that for the highlights. Okay. We'll come back and work on these. I just want to kind of show you where we're going. And a new layer. And go back to the selection tool. And we're going to kind of come in through here. And I want to have, and that's, this is why I didn't put too much of that in there. I want to have some grass coming up through here. Maybe coming around to something. It's kind of a yellowish green, something like this. All right. And then we'll kind of mix some of this on here. permanent green so I think that'll work for our shadow color All right, so let's think about, so this is going to be kind of coming through here, and then again we'll go with, oh, let's use our stencils, that's what we have them for. This is the tree cluster stencils, because I want to have these here, and I may even just go ahead and do these on a another layer. I'm going to go with this darker green that we just did. Hmm. I had it bleed under like that before. Switch brushes. Let's go to the airbrush. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Overlap it a little bit. He can switch to the fill bucket. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I... There we go.
something like that. So we can just start to quickly lay these in. Now you could go over here with the uh, selection tool. So like if you wanted to, and just kind of quickly sketch in some ideas. Like so. Just kind of soften this here, something like that. All right, and that kind of gives us that laid out. So let's grab this. Actually, I think I'm going to go over to the stencils again. Let's go with the dark green. So it's not quite black, but it's almost. We can just kind of block in. Can I have this come around? And then just kind of shape out the sides. Okay. So something just dark to kind of pull in, in there. And that's going to push those way back. And again, this you could put on another layer. So like if you wanted all this to be together, you could do that. So like we've got here. So if we want to put those trees. Then all you got to do is come over here. You can select this. It's probably going to grab just that because it's a good shift. Then just do Control X, Control V. Now you got on a separate layer. So we can work on these trees, this ground, this tree, and then we can start putting stuff here in the front. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a layer here because this is going to be for the water. Okay. So let's do a little layer management. Okay, so we'll do... Foreground trees, midground trees, 
grass. Mountain. Clouds. Water. Sky. Okay. All right. So that's going to give us some stuff to build on from here. And then what we're going to do for the foreground, like the this part through here. Which actually, let me come here real quick. Halo. Like so. So now we can come up here, add another layer. We'll put this one right through here. So we've got that. So let me save this real quick and I'll be right back.